This is the first light trip. We might build some crazy computers to bot back here and stuff like that. When I started, we probably had, combined as a team, we probably had a thousand pairs. What up, what up guys, Frankie Type R here from Statement in the Cherry Hill Mall. And today we are finally going to solve a dilemma. It's a dilemma that we've constantly had when we've been going through for almost like three months now. So, well, since we opened, I should say. So we're gonna finally solve that issue today. I mean, as you guys see, this is this is the issue. We have too many shoes. I mean, almost. I think it's like 2,500 pairs of shoes just back here alone. Uh, we have tons on the floor, literally on the showroom, and it's not a good look. We have shoes on the floor there, shoes on the floor here. It's it's just getting too much. I mean, this is just ones, the aisle I'm down. I mean, you also have, you know, all the way to Jordan 33, so there's no room, as you see. <laughs> to, the, to the people who have, like, recently met me or seen me just from YouTube or you're new to the channel, something like that, um, you know, I just want to say I do appreciate you and you have met, you know, me in a in a point where I've already accomplished a lot. I've already done a lot. It was not overnight. I just want to say I appreciate you guys because um, this was a long journey to finally get here. Uh, and I'm thankful for it. If you guys could do me one favor, if if you did meet me at an event or anything like that, hit that hit that like button. So as you guys see, like I wasn't I wasn't capping. This is uh tons and tons of stuff. Literally, this is supposed to be our fitting room. I mean I have stuff like yeah, <laughs> sneakers in here, just jeez, this is uh crazy too much too much stuff so so we kind of figured it out now and we ended up buying another unit in the mall we got the keys today and uh, we bought a dentist office <laughs> I know that sounds crazy and you guys will see what I mean but yeah as you see guys look at this like this is crazy this is way too much this just stuff and stuff stuff over here that it just it looks bad you know what I mean it's it, it's a good thing to have it's a good problem to have but it's a big issue in the store because it's you know customers are seeing this stuff I mean it's cool when we do it like this because like we could have the you know the newest Yeezy out and stuff like that but it's just it's overflow it's too much this is uh the re-release right here and we have tons of pairs here and that stack and that stack over there is also these uh these bread 350s this is the shoe that got me into Yeezys funny enough this was like my grail shoe for the so long and it was actually my second easy that I purchased I'm so happy that they re-released I know a lot of people get upset about them re-releasing the bread Yeezy because of resale values but like if you truly love the sneaker it's almost a better thing because now I can double up triple up as opposed to I only had one completely beat pair uh, in my collection but now I could double and triple up on these because they re-released so I'm happy about it so as we're walking up there I just kind of want to touch on a couple of comments that I had in my last video um, a lot of people were asking me like how I got into it and you know give me some tips to resell and like here here it is all right so what I would recommend is that anything that you think is hyped, I mean, obviously, like, it, I'm, I'm sure you guys know the basics. I'm hoping you guys know the basics. If you don't, download the sneakers app because you are going to need it. Anytime that there's a sneaker release, you always want to go for it for a couple of reasons. And I wouldn't say every single sneaker, but like for the most part, a lot of sneakers. There's a lot of good ones that are coming out, stuff that you would think like any kind of retro, any kind of uh, Yeezy that's coming out. You never know. They might have a good value to them. They might not. They might drop. But Here's the, here's the kind of like surefire way about it is you order a shoe on Nike, it's always returnable. So it's a safe investment. You could spend $200 on a sneaker and then if it doesn't, if it flops, it doesn't sell, then you're good. You could just always return it. It's a safe investment to purchase any kind of Nike or any kind of like Adidas Yeezy because you'll, you'll always at least either get retail back for it or just return it for what you paid for it. And last thing to, to add to that little part is um, always ask, you know what I mean? Like I know there's a lot of people that are stingy with their information, stuff like that. For the most part, I try not to be, and I don't think I am. It's more or less if I have the time to, but I try my best to reach out to everyone and give them a little insight and, you know, talk about some things that I've learned. I mean, there's enough money to eat for everyone out here. You know, we're not greedy, and I hope uh, you guys can learn something from it. But, uh, so this is the place. It kind of looks small from the outside. It is an old uh, dental office. We're gonna go ahead in here so you guys can see it. So they make us keep the tarp on uh, in front because obviously there's nothing going on in here and they don't want to show it. But this is it. So obviously it is an old dental office um, and it's kind of hard for the mall, I guess, to like lease it out. But we have this, these awesome like waiting benches. We have this giant counter desk. We have this L for anyone who doesn't hit on sneakers. This is for you. You know, so this is, this is basically going to be Jeezy's office. If you guys remember who Jeezy is in one of my old, other videos, she modeled the, I believe it was the carbon for us. She does a lot of our inventory and stuff like that. Um, her and my partner, Tom. This is where we're gonna legit check the shoes. Obviously just double check, make sure they're authentic. Go over people's inventory, stuff like that. They can pick up their checks that we sell for the week. You we might build some crazy computers to bot back here and stuff like that. Then coming back here, walk with me guys. 
back here, like I said, it was a dental office. So there's a ton of like little rooms. Like this is a really, really small one. I don't even know what they used this for. We started bringing some stuff up here. We're obviously gonna put racks and stuff in here, but it's just getting too crazy that we have to just get some stuff out now before we actually get the racks in. But this is gonna be one consigner room. It's one of the bigger consigners. And then we also another room right here. You know, like I said, this is, I, I don't think they could have used this spot for anything else besides storage. There's like water lines through, you know, the big dentist chair would be here and stuff like that. Got another room. Um, I don't know if we made a miscellaneous one, but we got these two free rooms on the back here. And then one more over here was a ton of easy. So moving forward, it is kind of crazy that where we are today and where, I, where I've made it to. Little word of advice, I would just say, uh, don't quit your main job until you're ready. When I started, we probably had, combined as a team, we probably had a thousand pairs and tons of clothes consigned at a ton of stores when we pulled it all and finally made the jump and we had a large amount of cash that we saved. And that's the hard part in this game because so many of you guys I see flipping, it'll be like, okay, we just bought a ton of Yeezys. We got to off them quick to make our 20, 30, $40, which is great profit. I ain't knocking nobody for that. It's great money, but quick flipping doesn't mean that you have that much money. You now still need that much money to now reflip. So when you start saving on the side and get up to the point of, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars, I want to say around two to $300,000 before you start the store to actually get to this point. And also including the inventory. Don't even think about the inventory that you have that you saved up and variety. Variety is huge. Doing a sneaker buyout, everyone's gonna have the new stuff. But like a lot of people buy the same skew, they buy the same shoe and they flip it and then, they, then it's like, okay, what's the next release? But that's everyone. So if everyone has the next latest release, no one has anything unique. No one has anything old school. You know, we have 500 different variants of shoes. So how many people had these? How many people had, sm had light smoke grays? Everyone, every still, still everyone still has them. I'm holding them, I'm holding them, I'm holding them. When, you, when it comes to opening a store, we need variety. Once we get racks, it's really gonna be organized and look a lot better. There's a ton of room back here. There's way more than any of the storage units we're gonna offer and it's really close. We could just run up here real quick and we could just, you know, even send G a quick text, hey, pull this shoe out. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever consigned a flight club or ever been to flight club. Some of you guys know this, there's actually like a separate location off of the store completely that takes in their consignment. So that's kind of like where we got the idea from that this would be awesome for strictly just consignment. All right, so this is a couple pairs. This is the first light trip uh, that we have to bring up there. We got Dallas pulling the cart because I don't feel like pulling it. <laughs> it's kind of annoying because we have to, we have to like scan each one because in our Shopify system, we have it as two locations now. So we have to physically transfer it from one location to the other. You have to scan each one. So only, I mean, you don't have to, but it's just more organized like that. But we have to wait till uh, obviously like when the mall closes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hand on the L. Get out of here. So as you guys see, this is uh, this is the dentist office that we bought. We made it here. You know, like we could buy a second location in the mall. It's huge. It's it's expensive. We're not taking an L today. This is my buddy. It's an L. It is mind blowing when you sit back and and see how far you've came from from where I started. You know, just talking about it and brushing on it in the back of the, of the place with you guys thinking about wow like that's where i was not that long ago it seems like forever but thank you seriously for everyone that's that's helped me get here because it you know all the all my facebook friends buying off me when i'm meeting up at two three in the morning for a pair of sneakers for his girl's birthday because he was last minute just everything you know there's i can ramble and ramble on with stories of uh where i came from to where i am now and looking back on it humbles me a lot and makes me think like wow it's it's crazy it's wild so once again guys thank you i really appreciate it um i don't know why i didn't sell around <laughs> i just like i just like this l <laughs> i think i should give this to tom for when he's botting but anyway thank you guys i really appreciate it as always guys drop that like subscribe hit the bell and better yet comment what you want to see on the next video that, that's i want to i want to know i need ideas you know what i mean i mean we have tons of content but I want to cater to you guys. I want to, you know, I'm here already. I, where I've got to at this point, like I said, I, I've, I'm on the right path and I'm doing my thing, but I don't, I forget what I needed help with back then. So if you guys need help, drop a comment and just ask me. I'm gonna try to touch on it in the next video or like I said, in my DMs either way. So if this helped you, like I said, please drop that subscribe because it'll help me back. Thanks guys, I'm out.